Oh my Dio. God. Good to see you, good to see you. How you feeling? I'm good, man. Yeah? Yeah. My name is Zach Dials, and when it comes to sports clientele in this business, I'm the guy. You know, I played in the NFL for eight years, so all the athletes come to me. I started selling multi-million dollar homes out here in Los Angeles to former teammates, entertainers. I went from the nightclub to the country club. I've been in real estate for three years, and I've sold nearly $14 million worth of property. A strong offer coming in would be around the $4 million range. Every showing I do can affect my reputation, so I want to make sure when I'm showing NFL clients properties, it's what they want. Because next thing you know, if it's not, they're in the locker room telling their boys, Zach doesn't know what he's doing or something like that. And if they start talking that kind of noise, I can lose all their business. VH1's new reality series, Love and Listings, deals in high-stakes real estate million-dollar homes in Southern California. But at times, it also blurs the line between business and pleasure. And joining me right now are the hosts of Love and Listings, Jacob Knight and Zach Dials. Hey, guys. Jeff, How's it going, going Jeff? On, man? I'm doing great this morning. Greetings from Las Vegas. Hey, oh, Vegas. A I great, know it's hot out there. Great spot. Great spot. Woohoo! Yeah, it's 110 today. It is really hot. <laughs> oh, man, just 110? No, no parts. Man. Part, no parts. Oh. Period. Whew. Hey, Jacob, right away, watching this series, you are the spitting image of your father, uh, music mogul Suge Knight. I mean, you look uncanny, the resemblance. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. There's no Maury. No need no, no more Maury. No Maury for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, take me through a typical day of a realtor dealing in million-dollar homes in Southern California. Uh, a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails. You have to check your emails, like, constantly. Um, you're dealing with a lot of competition. Everybody feels like they're the celebrity realtors when Zach and mm -hmm. I are pretty much the heavy hitters in LA. Um, and it's just a lot of networking. You, you wake up every morning, you, know, you, you went to an event the night before, so now you're kind of trying to, to just keep up with the people that you met and reach out, but hey, you know, so it's, there's, it's never really a dull moment out here. Every day is a grind. Every day you have to be doing something or you're gonna get left in the dust, especially in this business, because like Jacob said, Everybody out here wants to think or believe that they're the celebrity or sports and entertainment realtor. And it's like, that's, you know, if that's what you feel, then congratulations. But there's enough out here for everybody. And, and so in order, knowing that you, you always have to get up and keep it going. Yeah. Now you guys are setting up and doing million dollar real estate deals, selling homes that are worth millions of dollars. But sometimes the line becomes blurred between business and pleasure. Only million dollar deals. I'm only dealing with the millions. Um, the business and pleasure, I mean, we have a lot of fine women in, in California, just like Las Vegas. You got the women all over the place. So it's just, it's a lot of money and a lot of women. And, you know, there's a lot of temptation. But and, and you're going to see, because that's kind of how my storyline gets kind of it mixed, mingled in. You know, uh, Samantha is an agent, and her and I uh, dated a few years back. And then all of a sudden, you know, now I'm with Kat. And, and there's that, that balance between, okay, I still work with Samantha because we're in the same business, luxury realtors, and we're, we're always in the same circle. So kind of having to fit, you know, fit that dynamic in with the ex and the new, you know, in the working environment. So, you know, mixing business with pleasure kind of, it, it, it could be tricky. It could be tricky. Yeah. Now you guys have a star studded roster of clients. Can you share a few names with us? Oh yeah, yeah we got Jermaine Dupree, Jordan Sparks, Brandy, Moesha Brandy. Mm. You pretty much see me say them in the previews. Um, Zach pretty much has the NFL. He can let you guys know. Yeah, that. No, I got you know Joe Hayden, uh, Roger Saffold, James Anderson. Uh, we got Kerry Hilson, Laz Alonzo, you know um, Sean Kingston, Jermaine Dupree. I mean, the list just continues to go. Um, every episode, you're gonna see a new face pop up. Michelle Williams, yeah, from Destiny's Child. Uh, it, it was it was it was very pleasurable shooting this this filming this experience for y'all, and hopefully you guys like this. So how do you guys advertise for clients? Do you have bus stop shelters or benches like Phil Dunphy from Modern Family? No. Oh, man, we're going no. the whole, man, we're selling million dollar houses. We're going the whole mile, man. You're going to see our face pretty much everywhere if you go down to California. I think as far as like, you know, as far as like real estate business wise, it's pretty much word of mouth at this point. You know, um, as far as, you know, we're, we're fortunate enough to have clientele who have a lot of friends and networking. So there's no bus stop benches. That's why, you know, this show is going to be great for marketing as well. So it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. It's also educational. So tell me about the first time you ever sold your first house. What was the experience like? Time and place. I'm not, a, I, I didn't sell my first house yet. I'm the person that's just getting his license. So we find that out. I got kind of finessed in my first. So my first deal, first ever sale was for $4.3 million. And, you know, six months into the business to a friend of mine, um, Joe Hayden, 
and it went so smooth, you know, because Joe is, you know, Joe and I, we have a really good relationship, um, and everything went smooth. There was no hiccups in the process, and then you kind of start doing deals where things fall through. I had a, a $3 million deal fall out of escrow because, you know, buyers became, you know, erratic and things like that, so I kind of got finessed thinking like, oh, this shit, this business is going to be super easy, super chill, and then you kind of start, every deal is different, so... It's, it's, it's been a learning process for sure. So Jacob, you're in the process of getting a real estate license. What's the hardest part about getting that license? The hardest part getting a license for me is probably shooting a TV show at the same time. <laughs> so like literally like I'm doing interviews and I have to go right back and study right now. So it's just like you're seeing the real, real time of, of, of reality TV. And I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but you know, studying for the test, you're, you're especially out here in California, <laughs> At the time that I did it, you're looking at a lot of math problems and questions and things like that, and then you go take the test and realize there is not a single math problem on this test. That you know what I mean? True. So you're like, what the? I got all these formulas in my head. But still, I'm, I'm ready you still to put want on your paper. numbers right though, but still studying yeah. the math problems. Oh yeah, 100%. So it was that was the, the most interesting little flex that they have on you that they throw in there. Yeah. Hello. The communication ban has been lifted. I haven't talked to my dad in three years. I want him to know that things are okay out here. I just want this to be a good call. Hey, what's up? What up, Pops? Oh, s What'd you say? What up, man? I haven't talked you to you in a... Dude, I haven't talked to you in a cool minute, dude. This phone call means a lot to me. I really just want to hear my father's voice. They wouldn't let me get no phone calls in the county jail. No phone calls, no visits. And if I want to hire an attorney, the judge had to approve it. County council had to approve it. Boy, but anyway, what's good with you? You ready to shave? I know before you see, I got I got facial hair now. That little young peach fuzz you got right there. It ain't peach fuzz, dog. I've been I've been doing what you told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Jacob, we're all familiar with your father, music mogul Suge Knight, and his past, but you're determined, especially with this series, to be your own man and to create your own destiny. For sure, that's my goal. You know, like, people real like, the show, like, we're dealing with real estate and music, they're both dealing with contracts. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you you sign an artist, you're dealing with a contract. That, you know, you sign over a house with somebody, they're you're drawing up a contract for that per, piece of property. So it's just that they're actually, they, had, they correlate well with each other. Yep. All right, Zach, you're a former NFL player. The Raiders are coming to Las Vegas. Thoughts, feelings? Man, we're going, that's going to be fun. That's going to be interesting. Um, just hope that those, you know, those Wednesday morning meetings aren't full of Vegas. guys who are, you know, walking into the facilities still hungover from the night before because <laughs> that's going to be, you know, you're, you have a lot of young cats going to be in the uh, in Las Vegas. You got to think Las Vegas is the first place we go to when we have downtime and now you're just going to be there all day every day. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how that part of it takes off. Just they keeping might these guys in check. <laughs> it might come down to LA real quick. Guys, congratulations on the new series and after you sell your next home, come on out to Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. For sure. I love Vegas, man. Come on. My dad went to UNLV. You already know what it is, man. I banned myself so, from Vegas. I love Vegas. Thanks so much, and good luck with the show. Frank, 10 p.m., Love and Listings on VH1. Thank you, Jeff. All right, you can catch Love and Listings on VH1. And for more reviews and interviews, you can surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.